Good morning, everyone. Um, good to see you. Thanks for the introduction, even though I have to have... Uh, I don't speak German, unfortunately, so it got translated. But um, I'm here to present DocsWise. Um, I'm from Copenhagen Bombay, a production company in Denmark and Sweden as well. Um, and we did a, a small project called DocsWise, and I, I'll begin by... Um, leaving the word to the youth themselves and uh, showing you the, what Dark Swice really is. I don't know if we need the lights down. What was it? Was it fit? Was it some guy? Was it some guy? Anyway, I think I was the first to say, I come with the wedding or something. Oh, come on, man. Fuck, come on. Ja, 
havde ikke helt, hvad min far ville sige til, når jeg kom ned og besøger ham. Fordi han ved faktisk ikke, at jeg har banker på hans dør, og så ser han, at det er mig, der står udenfor. Jeg er nervøs over, om han har dårlig som vidtighed, eller... Og hvad han stolt af den pige, jeg er blevet. Men jeg er også meget spændt, og jeg glæder mig også. Har jeg talt med Gadisha Nasser? Det drejer sig om, at jeg skal til... Liberne, og jeg har et, et, et israelsk stemme på mit pas, og det går jo ikke helt. Nej, det er ikke så gode venner. For mig er det også vigtigt, at jeg om 10 år, når jeg måske får mine egne børn, at jeg kan sige til mig selv, at nu har jeg gjort det, nu har jeg gjort det, jeg kunne for med min far. Jeg synes, det er fedt at gå med et kamera og filme mit eget liv selv, i stedet for at der skulle være en fotograf, som skulle følge mit liv i de her timer. One more. Wow, that was lost. Okay. Um. Sorry, I have no more brown shield here in the house. But also, oh, can you feel me good? Jeg ser ikke noe fritt enda. Jeg ble helt blendet. Ok, vi satser på at dette funker. Ok, det er nå tirsdag eller noe sånt. Nå vet du. Det er to minutter jeg må gå. Så det her må gå ut fort. I går var jeg på en second date med en dømme. Men det var så utrolig awkward. Det var sånn kjempekult på first date'en, og så second date'en ble bare kjempe-awkward. Jeg vet ikke hvorfor. Jeg prøvde liksom å løsne på feelingen av å flørte og sånne ting, men... Nei. Gudland, jeg har aldri følt meg så klein i mitt liv. Nei. Men folkens, nå må jeg egentlig gå. Fordi jeg må rekke barn for å komme til jobben og sånn. Og jeg er trøtt. Jeg drømte at jeg sov i natt. Det er ikke køy, jeg drømte at jeg sov. Ok, men vi... Vi... Ses. Klokka er nå... Ti over to. Jeg fikk nå en telefon fra en av mine beste venner. Som sa, kom ut! Det er så fint vær, la oss sitte på festningen og ha det gøy. Ok, så jeg ser ut av vinduet, for jeg tror det regner, men det regner ikke. Det er veldig fint vær. Så det kan bli spennende. Så vi ses der. Ok, som jeg sa litt sånn tidligere, jeg skal finne true love, og folkens finnes true love. Nei, det eneste som er en bra match for deg, Lena, det er deg. Det er Beyoncé. Ja, det finnes true love. Det gjør det. Hva er det kanskje ikke for deg? Hva er det kanskje ikke? Dere onde hele gjengen! Lene, jeg synes jeg er litt fint der. Ja. Vet du hva? Hvis dere fortsetter å snakke sånn, så går jeg. Hvorfor er det ikke henger med? Nei. Ja, men si noe snilt da. Lene, det er noe som går til elsker. Fishing for compliments, ass. Fishing for compliments. Det er fint at jeg er liksom ved havet, så det er, ja. Myra har mistet troen på kjærligheten. Nei, jeg vil ikke tro det. Jeg er ikke så desperat til løp som du er. Jeg er desperat til løp. Åh, skikk, han har tatt noe bra med en blekk. Hvor er det blønne av hunding, eller? Det er ikke de, det er. Du, Stefan, tror du jeg kommer til å finne et true love? Det er true love? Ja. Nei, kjærleiken finnes ikke. Jo, det gjør den.
So, um, welcome. <laughs> So welcome to the world of uh, Ducks It's the world of the youth. Um, it's them opening up their homes and hearts for, for people to let in. Um, and with Ducks we're taking a point of departure in the youth themselves and their lives, thoughts and feelings and experiences. Um, we wanted to give the youth a voice themselves um, on their premises. And um, you can say it's for young people and by young people themselves. Uh, and we wanted to stir away from uh, the reality shows and the selfie generation um, that only touches upon the surface and the glassy filters. Um, so Dark Swise are honest stories that, uh, that uh, offers a rare insight of uh, the youth and the society today. And... Um, so the concept for Ducks the format, it's uh, an online documentary diary. It lasts for 10 weeks, then you follow the, the cast for 10 weeks. They film themselves every day, and once a week they send in the raw material for the professional team of uh, director and editor, who then will edit it and upload the three to, four, three to five minutes webisodes on, on the platform. Um, I forgot to say, there is a, a professional team of editors um, and producers and directors. That's the, the combination of, uh, of Docswise giving the youth a voice and still be able to, um, to edit it and, and have a strong storytelling and um, a, a strong narrative during the 10 weeks. Um, so on the online platform, uh, the, the cast and the audience can follow the cast and they can comment and, and get in dialogue with, with um, the cast and, and each other. Yes. Um, the way the young people are cast is, it's, um, they're standing often uh, through, uh, in front of a crossroad in their lives. They have something to deal with. Um, they, have, uh, they have a strong uh, intention of sharing their thoughts and feelings, um, and maybe an important decision whether to go to university, travel, or as you saw, Kadisha visiting her, her dad who kip, kidnapped her uh, earlier. Um, so they all have something on their heart and, and are willing to share. And, uh, the way they cast it is um, through online announcements, social media, um, through subcultures. Um, it's the team of director, and it's mostly the director and the producer who um, who casted the the contenders. Um, and also, it's very important that that the director has a close um, relation to. Not, not uh, how do you say, private, but uh, are in close dialogue and, and commun communicate uh, closely with the cast so they feel safe and, uh, and protected. Because during those 10 weeks, you, you give a lot of yourself. You, you open up for strangers to, to watch. And uh, it's important that uh, you feel safe to be, to be honest about things. Um, so what you can say is uh, that Ducks-wise is, um, is a combination between the cast's own recordings, it's the professional editing and, and director's uh, narrative, um, and user-generated comments uh, that is a bit original uh, for, for the format to see. Um, yes. Questions? Okay. Uh, we saw three examples that were um, um, different approaches. Um, I, if I'm not wrong, in the second example of uh, the Lydian girl, uh, we saw an external camera um, added to the selfie kind of footage. Um, so obviously, um, all the directors have a certain freedom of how they will um, employ their means. Is that just so? Uh, yes, there, there is a format, but the, the second one you saw with Kadishi, the Libyan girl, it's, 
you follow the, the cast through 10 weeks, but uh, in, in the weeks before, you, you, like, you follow the cast and they film themselves and we do a profile film. So like an introductional film, who am I? What, what's my story? What's, what do I want to share with you guys? So it's like a catching, um, catching film, an introductional film, um, where there's opportunity to, for the director to film also. So that's the only episode or like webisode you, you actually follow from the outside, not, not, um, not the cast only. So the next 10 episodes, webisodes, are, are filmed by the cast themselves. If that made any sense. Okay, collect the questions and I'll, I'll try to answer it. Um, so the, f the format was uh, invented by Copenhagen Bombay in 2007 um, after we did the documentary feature length film uh, called Vestabro, um, where two young lovers were filming themselves during uh, a year and then uh, a professional team of editors and, and director, they, they cut it down and... Uh, and we saw the potential in, in that way of working with young people um, because the story got closer and more honest and you, that you wouldn't have the, have the possibility to do um, with having a, a cameraman following them. Um, so we started to, to develop the format and, and had a first season of Doxwise, there's been three seasons, um, two in Denmark in 2008 and 2009, and then uh, a Nordic version season in 2012. Um, as you see, the media platform, the online platform has changed every year. Um, we've been trying to uh, explore different kinds of opportunities. Um, the first one was on MySpace, and the second one was on a uh, Danish newspaper, online version. And the Nordic one was on MSN, where the five Nordic countries, uh, Finland, Denmark, Sweden, Iceland, and Norway, were participating with four casts each. So, so the target group for Darkswise is young people between 15 and 25. The cast is uh, from 18 to 25. Um, because of uh, the restrictions, you have to be um, over 18 as well. And you can say the secondary target groups are the parents, uh, younger people, and, and people interested in, in getting insights on the youth and yeah, being able to see honest stories. So. What we thought was that uh, the curious, uh, the curious uh, youth today, they, they, are, um, they are always on generation with Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, Snapchat, and, and all, and uh, they communicate and comment on full speed. So we thought, why not try to, to mix that onto a, a common platform where you can actually show s strong stories and documentaries by real humans, real stories, it's honest, it's, uh, it's, we saw potential for, for young people to be able to, how do you say, to unite and, and find identity with each other across cultural borders and, and religions and, and stuff. Um, so we, we wanted to explore and take advantage of the, of the global world um, the global things that there's no borders, no limits, and also as the youth as digital natives. Um, so you see the ambition um, for for Darkswise um, is to to engage young people, both in their own society and and also in the world around them, to create a voice of the youth themselves on their premises. Um, that's not edited um, uh, for the whole world to see and hear, but also to, to create a platform where they can meet, they can uh, mirror themselves in others' everyday life. They have the same, maybe they're going around, walking around with the same themes and problems and, and thoughts and, and have no one to talk to. So this is a place, 
it's thought of to be a place where they can find a, a bit of identity and unity uh, and also create a, a space for dialogue and, and interaction. Yes, I think that's it for now. Um, so you see with, um, with Dr. Weiss, the, the vision was to uh, establish a greater insight and a deeper understanding of the youth, the cultural barriers, barriers the borders and, and differences, um, and engage the young people themselves, and also to portray, portray the, um, the youth today and the society they live in and how they see it. And uh, we wanted to reach the young people where they are uh, to, to pre give them a voice themselves. Um, yeah, and aim for a dialogue and, and cultural understanding across borders. So um, <clears throat> you can say they're the overall overarching themes of Duxwise that, that the webisodes have covered until today are listed up here. Um, it's themes that all people, uh, young people can relate to. I know also when I'm not young anymore, I, I can relate to that myself. Um, so it's, uh, it's based in their everyday life, on their premises. Um, for example, some of the stories or persons that have been in, it's a young single mother, a survivor of cancer, or a guy that had been bullied all his life and finding his way of uh, working through through life and what about school and also uh, as you saw a lesbian looking for true love and does it exist or not um, a girl with an eating disorder uh, a serious one wanting to to show the reality of, of that life uh, boys with dr uh, drug abuse and but also the more light and humorous uh, side of it, for example, a boy who dreamt of being a stand-up comedian, and it's not always that heavy. It's, uh, it shows every perspective of the youth, so it's not too <laughs> heavy all the time. But it's, uh, it's honest stories, and it's, um, it's, a, it's a, sh a picture of the reality today. So I just wanted to, let me see if it works to give you uh, an insight on how a platform looked like. It was from 2009 uh, on the Danish newspaper Politiken. Um, this is the front page, on Dagsweiss front page on Politiken, where you can see the forecast up um, on the top, and there's an introduction to Dagsweiss on the left, and there's videos to, to play. And this is... Uh, the personal page of Kadishi, one of the cast, and there's uh, there's all her how do you say all her webisodes and a description of Kadishi, and and there's also a uh, possibility to comment down here and just uh, to see how it worked. They were commenting, they were in dialogue with each other with the cast themselves. They had um, possibility to answer uh, the comments, which also. Uh, is very um, important for for the professional team behind it, the filmmakers, to to be aware to to edit or be aware of what's happening in within the online platform, um, because you have to protect and take care of uh, of your cast all, as well. Um, so you have to be you know constantly on. <laughs> Um, so the feedback um, from the three seasons, as you see, has been it, the the ones that have heard of Doxwise and seen Doxwise has been it's been very positively taken. Um, people have been engaging in in commenting and watching the films and and uh, there's a, there are three different platforms. There's a, a discussion on how that works. For example, the media partner, MSN, they had many restrictions. Um, there was, it was not, when we began rolling it out, it was not possible for, for young people to comment on the films, which made it very difficult, because that's a very big part of uh, the format and the concept. So um, we had had a, a bit of um, 
challenges through the way, but um, yeah, as you see, it's been it's been reached out and uh, seen by by people as well. And um, docs wise, uh, two thousand and two, no nine, uh, it won uh, a TV award um, also. So even though it's a new format, it's a new way of thinking content and and young documentaries for young people. It's uh, it's been acknowledged a bit, but it still needs uh, a, a grounding and, and more uh, information, attention, awareness. Yes. Also, on, on the platform, it was very important for us that uh, it's ad-free, that there's no um, ads, that, that it's really uh, strictly the content for the young people themselves to not be affected by, by others and and stuff, so the funding of it has been a challenge. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a way of, uh, of gathering different ideas, um, also because the format was so new and pioneering, uh, especially in the beginning. But it's, it's been supported by film institutes, municipalities, and cultural funds, and own investment, more or less. So what's next is um, right now we're developing on doing a global version of DocsWise. We're testing the concept globally, um, see what it can do and not can do, and where the, which challenges is there, um, all the practical issues on uploading material or on language barriers and, and all are, we're discussing right now the including part and excluding part, um, and also to find the right platform because we don't feel that we've found it yet. This is uh, where we're at at the moment. We're still uh, developing, still exploring possibilities, what works, what doesn't work. Um, we're in, we've been testing uh, a bit in South Africa, Israel, Iraq, China, and the States. and. Um, what could be really interesting for us is to, to make a global platform where, where people and young people can meet um, and, and find a, a way of, uh, how do you say, uh, a cohesion and unity and identity build and across borders and cultural uh, differences and religions and, and, and language as well. So, um, so we get a, a greater, uh, cohesion and, and unity uh, of the young people today, um, even though they live in so different worlds. Um, we still have the same thoughts, maybe. She wants to be a tango dancer in Iraq, and, and there's, uh, there's many overarching themes uh, uh, in the youth today that we wish to, uh, to kind of gather and unite. Um, so that's where we are at the moment, uh, still in development, still curious on how to, to work it out, really. And, um, and of course, we're open for, for dialogue on, on different opportunities for collaboration and, and funding and all. So please come and talk if, you, if you're curious about more and if you have uh, anything to add to it. Um, yes, I think that's kind of it for the moment. Um, you're always welcome to, to come and talk with me and or send me an email, call me by phone or something. And if you have any questions, I'll uh, reopen the floor, right, Astrid? Uh, um, I like your format very much. I find it very good. Um, and if you say you're exploring a new way of doing it uh, internationally, does that mean the language then is English? Which means you exclude a lot of teenagers who do not speak English, who do not have own cameras. Uh, well, that's exactly what what we're um, what we're in process about. We tried with uh, this one, Nina, yeah. and we see that it doesn't really work because uh, you're excluding so many people um, that that don't speak English. There's so many, um, so so we're uh, walking away from the idea of uh, doing an, an English language, also because you can get quite <coughs> limited uh, if your English isn't that. Good. Yeah. I think. So that, um, but, I was but, wondering about this. And the second thing is, um, for example, she in Iraq, she has applied 
to you sending you something and saying, I want to be with you on that platform, or is somebody out there all over the world <laughs> running around looking for teenagers? <laughs> yeah, well, um, what we do, um, for example, with the Nordic version, that we had uh, professional filmmakers, directors and editors in each country. So each country has their way of um, finding the cast, and also it's, it's a form for us. Copenhagen Bombay do, do a lot of... Um, talent development that is important for us to to generate new talent to explore new opportunities so that's also a possibility that you can find you know young directors with with something on their heart and, and maybe um yeah connections to subcultures and you know make having it more open so each country has uh, their team and if it's not just via the internet if you say uh, we've got people if it's not, um, it does not have to be via the internet that the people apply and they have to speak English because if you, if you have people all over the world in the countries, it's their mother tongue yeah, because then exactly. you don't and exclude people. Yeah, that's, a, that's the idea. A big plus. Yeah. yeah, and we want to also, that's why we're open for, for dialogue. We want to have you know, professional teams and in, in, in cast all over the world to, that can see the idea of uh, this format and want to generate more and, you know, so, yeah. Good. <laughs> uh, I was a little bit uh, astonished about the topic uh, abuse. Do you mean um, drug abuse, for example, or, or sexual abuse? And if second, uh, how many young people are, are able to speak uh, about uh, this topic in the films? Yeah, see, um, that's a good question. Um, the, the sexual abuse, we haven't had that yet, but maybe um, there are young people that want to share their story, and we're open to it um, because it's, it's experienced by, by some, unluckily. Um, and uh, what was your question again? <coughs> what was the question? And How many people do speak about abuse? Oh, the, the cast we find are, they have to be very willing to be very open-minded and, and, and let the people in. Um, so, so it depends also with the relation with the director, the, the, the trust they have that we won't show anything that hurts them, for example. Um, so that's a, that's a really important uh, connection to have that's why it's also important for us to have um, teams in every country and not only, like, for example, one team in Denmark out uh, casting uh, the, the roles and, and all. So the, the close relation between the cast and the directors is very important for us. might seem like a very technical question, but I think in the editing process, um, it's uh, all right to have a picture that wobbles about all the time, but when you have bad sounds, uh, it's very hard to edit anything. Yeah. So what kind of technical solution do you have uh, for the selfie kind of thing? I've experimented on this myself, yeah. And um, I came up with um, the headset that you have in handies, our, yeah. our, our mobile phones, um, smartphones, yeah. because it, it always clings, it, it's here, it's very cheap, but it's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, what do you do? Um, well, the, f the three seasons has been on, um, not with cell phones, but with um, cameras, like hand cameras and um, and that's important for for the filmmakers as well to in, um, how to say guide the cast to, for example, be very aware of the sound, and um, and also of the content that you're not only sitting on on your couch and talking about your day, but that you actually bring it with you, that you show what you you're doing, and so to give it more life. Um, of course, we saw with the Nina um, episode with the global one. Is the sound is is everything. Um, so that's 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 really important to to be aware of. And we haven't found that solution yet, but but it's a good idea. And with the cameras, uh, I mean, the, the, one of the 
fierce problems was the Zoom when I gave cameras to people. Uh, did you find cameras without a Zoom? <laughs> <laughs> no, but we told them not to Zoom. We, we gave, kind of gave them some directions what they could do to make the, the, the material to be able to work with afterwards. For example, not to zoom too much or, you know, hold it still and, or as still as possible. Hi. Hello. Are your protagonists at all involved in the editing process of their footage at any point? Um, no, but um, there's a close relation with the director, so they're, they're, if the cast have filmed something that they don't want to have brought out to, to the public sphere, they, they say to the director, and, and we, of course, take, uh, take care of, of that, think of that. But they don't get to see the edit before it goes online? Uh, no. Okay. Um, well, they, they could if they want it, but um, they have had uh, enough trust. And you've also not op offered to... Huh? You've not offered. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because we've been in dialogue every day, and so, so they have the possibility to to do it. I'm, so, I'm, not, I'm not sure if I understood right about the commenting. You said that with MSN it was really difficult because they didn't want that. Does that mean there were was no comment? With no MSN, comment they wrong? there was a lot of restrictions. Um, for example, we we've got it through that it was ad free. Um, that's not very usual in MSN. But the commenting, then you had to be an MSN user. And who are? <laughs> Not many, we experienced. So, um, and they couldn't open it up because they were afraid of, uh, of all the things uh, going on on their side. If you wrote about porn, and they had some restrictions that you couldn't speak about. Also, one of the episodes, episodes from Finland, it, it was about, um, it was a content uh, a cast who was, uh, going to, to film the, an Afghan man demonstrating. He was striking and didn't eat anything, and him and his friend went to do a barbecue with alcohol and, and all right in front of the Afghan man. And that was being, you know, that, was, that is how the, the youth today in Finland is also. That's a part of it. But uh, it, it had a, a lot of... Uh, of strong reactions from it, from the, the MSN and the society and, and newspapers. Um, so they actually took it down, MSN. You do plan on going back to the commenting function, though? Yes, yes, yes. That, who, that's, does, who does the moderating? That's, that the team does. The, 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 the directors director. and, and producer. So that, that takes a lot for, for us, uh, being online constantly during the 10 weeks. Maybe after as well, but um, also to protect the cast. Yes. Um, I was wondering because you said the, they don't see the material uh, before, and is there anyone under age, under the age of eighteen, or yeah. okay? So no, that's why. Yeah. Also. Yeah. But I think since you since you said the, the films are for like fifteen years old until twenty five. Yeah, but the casts are, are from 18 and up. Are there any more questions here? Then thank you very much. You're welcome. For thank your you. presentation. Thanks for having me.